Hi everyone, today we're going to look at how to waterproof your woofer cone for a, a PA speaker. Or actually this can work for pretty much any kind of outdoor speaker um, or one that you're going to use outdoors. Uh, if the cone is made of paper, then it's not really waterproof, so we can take uh, some varthane here or other uh, water-based urethane wood finish. So this one is high gloss, uh, it's called Ultimate Polyurethane Water-Based Crystal Clear Gloss. Um, so this is just going to give us some waterproofing for our, for our cone. And uh, I have one of these really cheap foam brushes, uh, a fork to stir it with because the instructions say don't shake it and uh, a little um, flathead to get the lid off. So um, the instructions say coat once and then wait two hours uh, to recoat, but don't wait more than 24 hours. Otherwise they recommend sanding it um, because th then you won't get a uh, street, you won't get streaks, which probably doesn't matter for our application, but so I'm just gonna take this plastic fork and use that to stir, because like they said, uh, we don't wanna get any bubbles in our uh, coat here. And I already coated it once yesterday. So this is going to be coat number two. It says, you know, this is supposed to be for wood. It says use at least three coats. So I'll probably go ahead and use three. So all, all I'm gonna have to do is remove the screws for, for my speaker. I have this protective um, metal grate. I've already taken off all the screws. I just have one holding it in place here. Um, and then I'm going to take that flat head again and just kind of carefully get, get that um, metal grate off and put it somewhere where it's not going to get stepped on because it can be warped easily. And so now here I have my woofer cone and for mine, I don't have the little uh, bubble in the middle. This is a, this is a, like a light up device, which uh, lights up the cone. So I'm going to be careful to kind of avoid that. And at the bottom, you, usually there's a, there's a little bubble at the bottom here. I have a little foam pad that's kind of uh, holding the, um, or, or keeping, separating it, uh, the inside of the cone from um, the center of this light device. So just be careful not, if you have that, not to get too much. Um, thing and dripping into the uh, that foam thing there. All right, so I've mixed that a bit. Good to have a roll of napkins by when you're doing this. And uh, just going to dip that in there. Make sure I let it run off so I don't get too much. And I'm just going to go ahead and, and apply it. You just want to not, not have so much that it's like running down the speaker and, uh, you know, you don't really want it to be running anywhere. You want to just have a nice, um, smooth, like thin finish. And then to, to get it thicker, you want to just keep doing a couple more coats. Also, usually with the uh, paints and other stuff like this, it's better to not, uh, it's better not to let it dry in the sun or in high heat. Uh, it, it works out better if it dries slowly. So I'd like to go ahead and just smooth out any uh, kind of um, any spots where it's it's consolidating uh, after it's it's been sitting on their surface for a little bit. There, it's easy to to smooth it out. Also, when you get the wood finish, you want to get the high gloss 
or uh, however the, the, the most glossiest one you can because the the matte or the satin finishes don't uh, hold out water as well as the gloss. Um, and I was reading that the matte or satin can actually, um, the finish can, will absorb water. So we want to avoid those and go for the glossy one. I'm just going to dab uh, to dry off the, the the excess here. The brush is dry, a little bit more dry, but not totally dry. That's that's helpful to get out that excess and give it a smooth finish. happy with that and I'm going to uh, put the lid on this and I'm going to uh, put the screen back on carefully make sure you don't drop it on the cone and puncture the cone so I'm gonna put it on just attach it with one or two screws and then put it somewhere out of the way um, and out of the sunlight so it can dry maybe if it's indoors you can turn the fan on so I'll just use one screw for now because it's going to be not getting a lot of uh, traffic or anything over here. So there we go. And um, I'll let it dry for a bit. Uh, I like to keep it standing upright so this um, nothing falls on the screen and, and bumps it or dents it. And if you just leave it for... Uh, Two hours at least if you want to recoat and then, or whatever your paint instructions say. And then after doing this a few times, uh, your speaker should be ready to go outdoors. And uh, if you get any condensation on the woofer cone, it should be no problem. Just run right off because it's waterproof or at least it won't absorb. So thanks for watching and I hope this helped. All right, goodbye. Also, don't forget to wash off your brush once you're done using it otherwise it's going to dry and it's not going to be fun painting with it next time uh, if you're using water-based uh, barthane or urethane which you should be then uh, this is water soluble and the paint should just should just uh, rinse off with water so clean your brush